So this map shows the estimated annual average household costs in recent dollars by county for our less conservative estimate, which we think is a pretty good proxy for where we are now in terms of the things that we are able to measure about the costs of climate change. So for the average household, it's about $570 of costs from the vectors that we look at. And the most important vectors in our research are those resulting from natural disasters. We find that heat isn't really causing the preponderance of damage because there's benefits associated with reduced cold in the winter too. So when we look at household energy costs or mortality due to temperature change, we don't find very large costs. But we do find really large costs from natural disasters. And you can see that reflected in the patterns on this map. So for instance, if you look at rural California, those have some of the highest costs. And that's because the wildfires in California have generated a lot of particulate matter, which leads to mortality risks associated with vulnerable individuals who are breathing those fine particulates, but also much higher home insurance costs as a result of the damage. You also notice the Gulf Coast has um, higher than average damages. And if you look for the top 10% of counties, the damages are more like $900 or above, right? So these really more darkly colored counties are the ones that are getting these big natural disasters risks. And, and of course, in the Gulf Coast, they're coming from things like floods and hurricanes, which have their own mortality costs, but are, have really big home insurance costs too. Where some regions of the country are relatively lightly treated, if you look at like the state of New York, they're not having very many natural disasters compared to the regions that I just described. So it really depends on where you live. Um, but this map also has implications for income progressivity because some counties are richer than other counties. And it turns out on average that the places with the natural disasters are poorer than average. So when we look at uh, the regressivity of climate inaction, we also find a compelling pattern there where poorer counties are facing higher costs as a share of their income than our richer counties.